Legend has it that in ancient times, a group of great saints is cultivating divine power. Suddenly a ray of divine light came down from the sky and forged a holy weapon called a magic weapon. The saints became so powerful with the magic weapon that they were transformed into heavenly gods. But then came the disaster. The divine light also gave birth to another supreme magic weapon, a weapon with the power of the third eye of the corpse god. The weapon is called Brahma's weapon which has the power of creation and destruction at the same time. Realizing the danger, the saints suppress this powerful weapon. They and their descendants will guard the weapon for eternity. They call themselves the Brahma saints and hide in their society. It has been passed down from generation to generation by different people and has continued into modern times. At the same time, an evil force was surging in the shadows. This scientist is one of the heirs. Two assassins broke into his home to steal the fragment of Brahma's magic treasure. He dripped his blood on the fragment and then threw it at the speed of light. They are disguised as other objects to hide. While the killers were looking for the shard, he secretly put on the magic treasure himself. Instantly, he gained divine power, knelt, and began summoning a guardian spirit. His guardian spirit is a considerable Vajra. But unfortunately, the divine power will dissipate momentarily. He thought he had escaped death. After the killer left, he returned home and returned the magic weapon pieces to their original form. Suddenly a witch appeared and quickly subdued the scientist with chains. She got a piece of Brahma's magic weapon. If she collects all three pieces, she can summon the dragon, resurrect the fire cloud evil god, and destroy the world. The witch reads the scientist's mind and learns the whereabouts of the remaining two pieces. The scientist did not do his duty to protect the magic treasure and finally chose to commit suicide by leaping from a high building. The man who was participating in the ritual was named Kiva. He was born with a special connection to treasure. He was unaware of it and thought it was an illusion. Suddenly Kiva looked forward and saw such a beautiful woman in the world. He went straight after her and got outside the elevator to see the girl. She had a beautiful name. Isha. The two fell in love at first sight and soon fell in love and danced beautifully into the night. Suddenly the image of the scientist's death returned to Kiva's mind. He learns that he did not commit suicide but was murdered. The killer's next target was an artist. With the help of Isha, they arrive at the artist's location but accidentally bump into the witch. The two have to find the artist before the killer does. Isha closes the door to block the killer. But unexpectedly another killer appears behind them. At the critical moment, Isha rushed out and asked for directions. When the killer turned his head, Kiva and the artist vanished. They hid behind the museum's stone statue, and Kiva told him everything. Suddenly heard the sound of Isha's cry for help. It turned out that the killer had figured out the plan and wanted to kill him. In this crisis, Kiva jumped up, pounced on the killer, and punched him. But the next second, the killer's whole body emitted red fury. He activated the magic treasure skills and began to counterattack. The bullet hit the artist's heart, but he didn't die. A flash turned into a super scion and punched the killer with a rock. The glittering bracelet was his magical weapon. They were just about to leave when suddenly an intense red light flashed. A more powerful witch arrived on the scene. The artist swung his arm towards the floor with a punch. The floor was smashed into a big hole, and they escaped the tunnel. The artist used magic treasures in the car to recover from the wound. Now they must go to the monastery to protect the magic treasure fragments, but the witch soon drives up to intercept them, and the artist stands up to stop the witch. He chanted an incantation and summoned the proper form of the talisman. A tremendous force overturned the truck. The artist continues to power up and prepares to push the witch off the cliff. At that moment, the killer woke up and shot him several times. The artist lost his magic power and collapsed to the ground. At that moment, the distant Kiva's body kept twitching. He called out to the artist to get up and fight. He was instantly filled with power, and the guardian spirit reappeared, which rushed to put on armor magic treasure protection. The artist used his last ounce of strength to push the truck off the cliff and he also fell with him. At this time, another killer found Kiva and then played his speed and passion. After some tangle, Kiva drove the car to the top of the mountain. The killer's hand was fixed in place. Then a magnificent drift. The two jumped out of the car together. The killer fell off the cliff, and the two temporarily stopped. They finally arrived at the monastery. They were about to enter the gate when the killer climbed up from under the cliff, then summoned his magic weapon. 
and Kiva fell to the ground with too much force. He had the power to control fire since he was a child. But now he could not harness it. He could only explode in the moment of danger. The elders of the Hermitage wanted to let Kiva control the power of fire as he wished. He had to be told of his origins. Back 30 years ago, the Brahma Saints had an island in the sea as their headquarters. Brahma's magic treasure still needed to be divided into three at that time. And the fire cloud evil god Dave wanted to take the magic treasure himself. He was so powerful that he could beat the whole sect with strength. Brahma's treasure awakened for the first time in this era. The whole world is about to be destroyed. Powerful enough to shake the heavens and earth. When everyone was in despair, a woman named Amrita fought with Dave for three days and nights. Finally, Brahma's magic treasure was broken into three pieces, but one was lost in the battle. The island where the battle was fought was swallowed by the ocean. Amrita used the power of the gods to seal Dave. He was significantly injured and lost control of the gods. It turns out that the two were originally husband and wife. Before the war, Amrita was pregnant. Kiva is the child who inherited Dave's firepower. And the mystery of Kiva's birth is finally solved. The last fragment is the relic that Amrita left to Kiva. Now to protect the last two pieces, he began to train hard, fearing that he would not be able to defeat his father if he came back to life. But time is running out for him, the witch fell off the cliff and didn't die, coming to where Dave was sealed. She is the very messenger of Dave's protection and wants to lift the seal and bring him back to life. But she encountered a formidable opponent. Dave gave her a magic weapon to control the human mind and turn it into a puppet. Countless villagers have been controlled and turned into walking corpses. The witch ordered them to retrieve the magic treasure fragment and start a surprise attack on the monastery. Soon the second shard fell into the hands of the witches. They also took a girl and forced Kiva to give up the third shard. He threw the shard straight into the air. While everyone's attention was on the shard, Kiva unleashed his divine power. Finally, the witch defeated them with the power of water gods. At this dangerous moment, the hermitage people came to the rescue. They all used their magic weapons. Some summoned hard shields to defend themselves. Others fired green rockets. The Dean's strength is even more powerful, turning out a knife. At this moment, Isha is targeted by the witch. She ran away desperately with the pieces, shouting Kiva's name. He learned that his girlfriend was in danger and was instantly awakened. At this time, Isha was still running, and the witch followed closely behind. In the very next second countless clusters of flames flew toward the witch at the speed of light and surrounded her. At that moment, the witch temporarily woke up Dave. Let him possess the body for a minute. A powerful force swept over. At this point, Isha told the witch that if she dared to take another step forward, she would throw the pieces off the cliff. But no matter how she threatened, the witch continued forward. She was just about to grab it when the two of them were suddenly entangled by a divine force and hovered in the air. It turned out that the brothers from the monastery had arrived. Kiva took out the Neptune fork and defeated the pursuers behind. The witch also fell off the cliff. The witch killed the boy with her knife when they thought they had one. The pieces fell to the ground, and she climbed up from the bottom of the cliff, combining the three pieces of Brahma into one. A horrible end is coming. Kiva used the power of love to defeat the evil fire god. I was calming the disaster and taking control of the Brahma Dharma treasure, but the evil god's power still broke the seal. A catastrophe is about to come. This is the end of the film. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.